It's time for Culpeper Blue Devil Basketball. Good evening, everybody. Donnie Johnson along with Gary Deal. And tonight we bring you the Cortland Cougars and the Culpeper Blue Devils. Uh, a battlefield district face-off here. One team going way up. The other team struggling to just stay alive. Yeah, we uh, exactly, Donnie. We have Cortland, who's, I think, lost two games this year. And Culpeper is one, two, or three. Or four, and uh, we're looking looking for some improvement from Culpepper. As we've said before, uh, when when we're watching the team, you know, I like to see them slow down a little bit, uh, show a little more patience, um, have a little more control, work on the tempo, both individually and as a team. Well, Portland comes in with a record of 11 wins and five losses. They're eight and two in the Battlefield District and are second. They are led by their junior guard captain, Jalen Brooks, and uh, he can put some points on the board. But uh, the big guy down low, number 23, you'll want to watch out for, Joshua Hartsfield. He's had a couple of 25-point games this year, and he can score. And uh, he's probably going to be taller than anybody Culpepper has, so that may be a problem. Yes, and we know Culpepper's young. They're developing. We've, we've uh, watched their games and broadcasted their games earlier in the year. So it's, it's all about development right now. So let's see what they got tonight. Uh, let's see how much patience they have, uh, how they're working as a team, what kind of ball movement, spacing that they create. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see where they are now compared to where they were a month ago. Well, Corlett 11 and 5, Culpepper comes in with a record of four wins and 11 losses. They are uh, right down at the bottom of the battlefield district. And the guys, you got to watch out for Culpepper, Matt Amos. If Matt Amos gets hot from outside, he can light up the scoreboard. J.Q. Williams is a good ball player, and he can put some points up. Good ball handler. And, of course, Elijah Butler. Now, tonight is senior night, so the seniors will be starting, so we'll kind of shift from one senior lineup to the regular lineup as the game progresses. All right, we'll be back with the starting lineup and tonight's game between the Portland Cougars and the Culpeper Blue Devils in just a moment. You're watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Searching for a promising career? Trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech. Located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. Well, good evening, everybody. Again, uh, Donnie Johnston and along with uh, Gary Deal, and we're getting set for the game between Cortland and Culpepper. And now, with a great deal of pride, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what's so proud
Taylor Swift, Eat Your Heart Out. Beautiful rendition of our national anthem here before this ball game. And uh, Gary Deal, that was pretty scary. That was excellent, Donnie. That's one of the best locally I've heard other than Melvin White uh, in a long time. And he wears a cowboy hat. Can't be all bad. All right, let's get these starting lineups here, Mr. Deal. Okay, for Cortland, we got uh, number one, Jalen Brooks. Number 10, Anthony Jones. Number 11, Donald Williams. Number 23, Joshua Hartsfield. And number 44, D'Angelo Prodi. All right, for the uh, Blue Devils tonight, senior night. Number zero, Donovan Glimp. Number one, Jaden Tyler. Number two, Elijah Butler. Number two, Elijah Butler. Number 24, Nick Huffman. Number 24, Nick Huffman. And number 34, Thomas Zoller. And number 34, Thomas Zoller. And all these guys get to play a lot during the ball game, but uh, they are starting as a senior unit tonight. And uh, Mr. Jennings will shift in his regular players as the game goes along. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long he goes with his seniors tonight before he starts putting in his top five players or, or a mixture. Well, Kyle Pepper had a, a good win last night over Spotsylvania, a 19-point win, but they face a much tougher buzzsaw tonight in the Cortland Cougars. Well, I'm interested in, like we were talking earlier, Donnie, to see how Culpepper uh, has improved. I know, like, you, the normal high school games are up and down with a fast pace, but you got to run that transition game in control. So I'm just – I want to see if Culpepper has slowed down a little bit uh, in, uh, as far as being in control in transition. Well, I don't know if they're going to be able to slow down tonight because Cortland's going to take it to them. D'Angelo – Brody jumping, and the tap is controlled by Jalen Brooks. Brooks out into the corner, working it to Williams. Hartsfield, the big guy, is out front, now gets it in the corner, into the middle. Long three-pointer, in and out, and will not go in. That circle to... The wagons twice before Brody puts the second shot in. That's offensive rebound, so you got to box out and get a rebound on defense. Donovan Glip into the lane, kicks it out. And a steal, and a steal back by Glim. Loose ball coming up with it, Jaden Tyler. Jaden is a, is a regular starter. Glimp wanted to take that three, but couldn't get it. Cross court pass, Butler, baseline, fade away, no good. Rebound tapped around, comes down to Prody. To Brooks, ahead, Williams. Down low. Nothing there. Three-pointer from outside is no good. Williams couldn't get the ball to fall. Good rebound by Nick Huffman on that. Butler turns, puts it up, no good. Rebound. Cortland Cougars behind his back, Prody. Gets, regains his composure and puts it in. Four nothing, Cortland leading. Tyler, a lot of pressure here by Cortland. They, this is a good ball club. Yeah, and the only really offensive set they're running right now is uh, the weave out front. So um, don't have much uh, uh, low post skill down there, it doesn't look like. So they're working the weave outside. Well, I think he's trying to give these kids a chance to play the seniors. 
without getting him into too much trouble with scoring on the other team. Exactly. Just give them their chance and then put the regulars in and go from there. Not that these kids can't play, but I mean, if they were the best, they would be starting all the time. Well, they showed pretty good patience there, Donnie. I like that. They, uh, um, they have. Just got to make a few shots. Clip. Tyler on him. Over to Butler. Wheels around. Goes down the lane. Puts it up. Cannot get the roll. Loose ball. Scramble. Good hustle. Still loose. Spots of eight. Our Cortland gets it. Good hustle by Zoller, though. Brody kicks it out. Three men on him. Butler, or rather uh, Tyler. Follow-up is up and in by Joshua Hartsfield. And now the uh, regular subs will come into the ball game. Uh, the regular starters will come into the ball game. And we'll pick them up for you as they do. J.Q. Williams, number five. And uh, while they come in, we'll get get you back to the station for 30 seconds. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. Gump up with the basketball. Matt Amos will throw it in. Now in the ball game. Amos working in the backcourt. Elijah Mancha. J.Q. Williams in the corner. Amos. Magic has the ball come off his leg. No call. Out of bounds. I see some patience already, Donnie, that I didn't see um, several weeks ago. So I like it. 6 nothing. Cortland leading. 4.24 to go. Almost halfway through the first quarter. I'm interested to see if Matt Amos can play in control. The last time I watched him, I mean, the last couple times, he was a little bit out of control. He's a good player. So I'm, uh, I just want to see if he's developing and uh, – Improving this year as far as being in control with the ball individually. Williams puts it up off the glass too hard. Brooks the other way. Brooks driving, dumps it off, and he had nobody there. Call Pepper, too hard. Tap up Amos, no good. Rebound comes down to Brooks. Cortland on the attack. Cougars leading 6 nothing. In the middle it goes. Hartsfield can't hang on to it. Good defense. It could be a close game right now. If a couple of those shots had gone down, they were rolling around the rim, but Culpepper hasn't been fortunate enough to, uh, for him to go through the net. Mancha. Got to get uh, Matt Amos some shots, some open shots. Amos wheels, gets around on Brooks, goes down the side of the lane, no good. A little impatient there, that's not a good shot. From the corner, three point shot in and out. And Cortland comes down with the offensive rebound. Not boxing out and not rebounding on the defensive end. And a backcourt violation is going to be called as soon as this ball goes out of bounds. Culpepper has got to focus on rebounding the basketball on the defensive end. That's one of the reasons my Wizards, Donnie, are having such a bad year. They're not rebounding the basketball. Well, Virginia got out rebounded on the offensive end last uh, night before last. That was uh, North Carolina State really took it to them on the outside, uh, on the uh, offensive boards. And we got a five-second call. J.Q. Williams couldn't get it in. And the ball turns over. 
to Cortland. Under three minutes left, first quarter, 6 nothing. Cougars are leading. Low scoring ball game. Outside three point shot, no good. Rebound, scramble for, and a jump ball is called, and the arrow is pointing in the direction of the Blue Devils. If, if Culpepper doesn't put a body on Prudy, number 44, he's going to wind up with 25 points tonight. He's very good inside. You can tell already the way he moves and the way he positions himself. He's going to get a lot of scrub shots. You've got to put a body on him and know where he is the whole time. Mansion tries to get a pick and throws it away. And we've got a whistle and a foul is going to be called. On number uh, 22 for Kyle Pepper, that'll be Jeremiah Jordan. First team foul. And Cortland with the basketball and a 6 nothing lead. Coming down on two and a half minutes. First quarter, low scoring game. Blue Devils have not scored yet. With almost six minutes gone. Cortland has put almost every player on the bench in there. And going up with that shot, Hartsfield. That's his second basket of the night. Joshua Hartsfield, it's 8 nothing. Under two minutes. Mancha takes a long three. Nope. Rebound, Cortland. Jones wanted to take that shot. But he's stiff from the corner. No. Rebound. Cortland keeps it. That's, that's about four or five offensive rebounds, Donnie, in the first five or six minutes of this game, and probably resulting in at least four four points for Cortland. So the, guard, the guards have got to come down and rebound, too. You just can't uh, depend on – the center and, and the uh, the four spot to do all the rebounding. They got everybody's got to go to the boards. Well, we said the pregame that height was going to be a problem for Culpepper. It's height, but it's also team rebounding. Jones from outside, three point shot will not roll around. Rolls off, Mancha. Looking for help. Finally gets it out to Amos. Tyreek Smith. J.Q. Williams, and he is fouled. Tripping foul is called on Cortland. Under a minute to go. J.Q. is a little impatient. He's got to uh, pass that ball and, and take his time and, and look, for the, look for his spots to drive to the hoop. And... Uh, you know, give that ball up a little bit for a better shot. And finally, Culpepper gets on the board. Jeremiah Jordan puts in two on the nice inbounds play there, and it's eight to two. And tie up down there, Jordan, and uh, who was he tied up with? Uh, da, 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 I think it was Dias. Anyhow, the ball belongs to Cortland. Three-pointer way outside is in. Elisha Aiden, 11-2. 30 minutes and counting. First period. Cortland in control. Won't go. J.Q. Williams trying to get in there. See, Mister is doing the right thing here. He's, he's taking J.Q. out and going to have a talk with him. I'm hoping that's what he does anyway because he's, he's playing out of control. He's trying to do too much individually. He's a good little player. He's just got to play smarter. And Mister is the one to work with him. He, 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 can, he can get through to him. I know he can. And Charlie Holland, number 23, comes in to replace J.Q. Ten seconds. Hartsfield, outside, ball thrown away, and it will stay with Cortland with 2.3 seconds left in the quarter. 
Can the Cougars get a shot off? We shall see. And they do get a shot off, but it's no good as the first quarter comes to an end with the score. Cortland 11 and Culpepper 2. You're watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home. Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpepper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Searching for a promising career? Trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. Well, it wasn't a very productive quarter for either team. Golf ever managed just one Field goal in that whole first half, Gary, in the whole first quarter, Gary Deal, trailing 11 to 2 as we begin play. But I, I see some improvement team wise, though. They're, they're more patient now. They're, they have uh, good motion on their offense. Uh, they're moving the ball well. Uh, it takes five, though. It takes five people to be involved with that. So um, they're, showing, they're showing pretty good team chemistry here, working together. Jordan couldn't get that shot to go. Cortland using a lot of players here as Hartsfield turns and can't get it to come in and save. Nice save there by Jaden uh, Tyler. Three pointer. No good. Cortland again with the rebound. Nice steal. And a steal back. And a walk. See, in that transition that time, Jaden Tyler's got to understand he's got to control that ball first before trying to do too much with it. I mean, that's, it's important to control the ball, get possession of the ball, and then go hard to the rim instead of kind of snapping at the ball and not being able to possess it. 11 to two, our score, 6.54 to go. Second period, Tyler out front. Over to Mancha. And thrown away. Cortland ball. Matt Amos has got to be more of a leader out there, in my opinion. He's a good player. He needs to call for the ball more and go to the ball more and, and possess the ball more and uh, try to, uh, to generate some shots. Well, they might need to give him a pick or two here yeah, there, too. Exactly, Donnie. I agree with you. Uh, they... They need to get him some shots in order to uh, get back in this game. Hartsfield. Stops. In and out. Good hands by Mancha there. Yep, Mancha comes down with it. Holland. Amos in the corner. Mancha has a three. Good shot. Way off. Brooks the other way, and he double dribbled. Matt Amos, Matt Amos, you know what I compare Matt Amos to? Layla Hackley. Lay Remember how early Lay part in the Layla year? Layla Hackley is much better. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the early part of the year we were saying she needed to be more selfish? Yes. Well, Matt Amos needs to be a little more selfish. Work for a good shot, but uh, he needs to get 15 shots a game. And we've got a whistle. I'm not sure what that's about. There's a foul on somebody. Double foul. Yeah, double. Must be some jawing and some elbowing going on out there. So it's a double foul. Amos. 
Brooks on him, tries to get by him and loses it. And we got a foul called, bodies all over the floor. Butler is down. And uh, Donald Williams is down for Cortland. And the foul is gonna be called on Butler. Cortland will retain possession. Jalen Brooks. Long three-pointer from outside is no good, and the rebound comes down to Holland. Ahead to Amos. Brooks right on him. They're not giving him anything. Now he gets free for a three-pointer. No good. But he had to he had to pull the trigger quickly on that one. And it, he had more time than he thought he did, though. He, he didn't even hardly look at the rim before he shot it. He's, he's, he's excited because he's not getting shots. And when he gets a shot, he's, he's uh, not comfortable and relaxed because he's so surprised he's getting a shot. So he needs to slow down just a little bit. Well, Brooks was relaxed on that one. He got the three-pointer, 14 to two. First points of the second half, for, uh, second quarter for either team. And we got a whistle. We got a foul on. And the ball will turn over to Cortland. Brody will get it in. Now Brooks out front. Down low. Elbow in there, but no call. Follow up, no good. And Brody missed two. Butler to Amos. Going down on four minutes now in the second quarter. Jordan, and he traveled. Good pass by JQ that time. That time he uh, didn't try to force anything down there, uh, being uh, smaller than the big down there, and he kicked it out, and they had had a good shot. It just uh, didn't work out. Under four minutes. Second quarter. In the middle. Steele. Butler. And he threw it away. He didn't know where to go on that pass. Oh, good charge. And an offensive foul is going to be called on Cortland on Donald Williams. Excellent, excellent play by Charlie Holland there. Yes, sir. he stood and took that one. Fourteen to two. Culpepper has not scored in the second quarter. Cortland has scored one three-point basket and more than half the second quarter is gone. It may be warm outside today, but these guys are cold. Amos to Mancha. Brooks is right on Amos. He's not giving him anything. Jordan is fouled. Foul going to be charged to D'Angelo Prodi. I like the way Jordan went to the hoop that time, though. It was, it was a good move. He just needs to get stronger in there uh, trying to finish. Mancha will toss it in for Culpepper. Outside to Holland. J.Q. Williams off the glass, no good. Rebound, Holland missed it. Out of bounds, it will belong to Culpepper. Under three minutes now. And the Devils still have not scored here in the second quarter. I don't remember a game where this far along the Culpepper team only had two points. Hard to find. All right, Avis. That's a much better shot there. He missed it, but it was a much better shot. And out of bounds, did was he tripped or did he just lose his balance? Apparently he lost his balance. 
Actually, I, the way I saw it, he was tripped, Donnie. They just, the referee didn't see it. But he didn't complain, though. No. So, you know, maybe he just tripped over his foot. Brooks. Three-point shot from way outside. No good. Follow-up. And foul underneath. Is that on Holland or Amos? One of the two. We'll see. I think it was on Amos. And nobody put a body on him. You got to find... Put your body on them and your hands and know where they are to box them out. Sylvain Diaz at the line. Got the first one. 15 to 2. Cortland in charge from the beginning. Diaz second shot coming. Actually, it's Deas, D E A S. And. Lane violation there. Basket would not have counted had it gone, and Culpepper comes down with the ball. J.Q. Williams. Working it around. Amos. Brooks just is all over Amos. Corbin plays good defense. They do. Amos cannot get the ball to go, or Mancha cannot get the ball to go from down low. And Cortland maintains possession. Long three-pointer from way outside, no good. No box out again. And a scramble for the loose ball. Error pointing in the direction of Cortland, so the Cougars will retain possession. With 2.01 to go, second period. See, the boys, the boys don't understand. You can't just stand there and everybody just stand there and jump up for the ball. You've got to put your hands on them and box them out to keep them out of that lane or under the basket there. Just another one there. Nobody is hot for either side. Williams. Mancha will take a three. He can't get it to go. I don't think I've ever seen a cup ever team this cold. Tyler into the middle. Turnaround shot is good by Hartsfield. 17 to 2. Mancha wheels. Mancha outside. JQ. Fade away. No. And knocked out of bounds from behind by Culpepper. Brandon Kendrick, the guy who. Came in from behind and kicked it away. 1.14 to go in the first half. 17 to 2. Cortland winning. Brooks lost the handle and a foul is called. And I think the foul is going to be called on JQ Williams. 14 foul. For the Devils. A 15 foul. At the line. Brooks can't get the first one to go. He'll have a second. Yeah, really. Culpepper's missed a lot of shots tonight, but so is Cortland. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, if they're shooting 10% on either side, it's going to surprise me. This is... Eighteen to two as Brooks finally gets one out of two. See, that's why you got to go set him a pick right there. Do a little pick and roll. Got to have some picks against that man-to-man -man defense. Amos off balance. He finally got one. There he is. Eighteen to five. That's only about his third shot though, Donnie. They need. To, he should have 11, 10, 11 shots or a half. And he just hasn't had any shots. Like I said, Jalen Brooks has been all over him all night. Cortland playing excellent defense. Exactly. And they're in a man-to-man -man the whole first half. Yep. That's why you got to get him a, give him a pick, even play some uh, pick and roll, uh, right. pin downs, do some uh, staggered picks. Uh, just get him open somehow. Mikhail Pulliam at the line for Cortland.
All right, Gary, you've seen this no one-and-one one situations all season now. What do you think of it? Uh, I'm still trying to get acquainted with it, Don, to be honest. I think it pretty much evens out. but I don't like it because if you're trying to get the ball at the end of the game and, you know, you're the team that's behind, you know, you automatically giving those kids two shots at it. It's not like the old one and one where you miss the first shot and you have a chance. Amos well, misses again. It's, but I think you had you, ten fouls in a half, right? And you get two shots, so you got two well, shots in a quarter if you get to five. Well, it's five fouls in a quarter. Yeah, now, but it used to yeah. be ten. Ten right. fouls and a half. So you, yeah, you get the double bonus. It somewhat equals out, but I don't like it. Yeah, it's it's hard to get acquainted with. I agree with you. Butler outside to Amos. Fifteen seconds. Mancha. Ten second mark. Mancha has the ball kicked around. Brooks on the drive, and Brooks scores. As the first half comes to an end, a very uneventful first half with Cortland leading by a score of 22 to two. Now stay tuned, we're gonna have the senior night festivities for you coming up at halftime. So stick around here on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sons Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpepper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive, searching for a promising career, trained to be a certified, always in demand machinist at New Pathways Tech, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for varsity cheer and boys basketball senior night. And we will start with the Varsity Cheer Squad. Up first, Maba Pearson. Maba's escorted by Tony Illisans Bland. Has cheered football season and basketball season. Will continue cheer in college. Really loves cheer. Accomplishments. I come from Belgium and I came here to improve my English and to live like an American. I really have improved my English since I'm here. I've also learned a lot about cheer because I've never done it before. I've accomplished a lot of things since school started. I am so happy and proud to have the opportunity to study at Culpeper High School. Plans for college. I will study languages at, the, at a university in Belgium. I'll study Spanish, Dutch, and German. I love to learn languages. Favorite memory. My first memory was when Jemiah threw the ball at the referee's head. And in football, it was when we were cheering in the rain, Mava Pearson. <laughs> Michaela Ramirez. <laughs> Escorted by Crystal and Daniel Rodriguez, cheered her entire life, will not continue cheer in college. Accomplishments, becoming cheer captain for both seasons of my senior year. I have grown from just someone on the team to a really good leader. I felt like me and my whole team have improved so much. Plans for college, I wanna get my cosmetology license and hopefully own my own business one day. Favorite memory is being able to help all the girls improve their skills and when Jemiah hit the ref with the basketball. And don't forget the best coaches. Love you, Coach Linda. Coach Leathers, Michaela out, Michaela Ramirez. <laughs> Megan Smith, escorted by mom and dad, cheered for one season, will probably continue the sporting college. 
Accomplishments, AB Honor Roll, All A Honor Roll, Academic Medal, and the Academic Jacket. Plans for the future. I'll be taking my prerequisites at Germana and then going to PBCC to take a sonography program to become an ultrasound tech. Favorite memory, performing at the Medford game and cheering in the Christmas parade, Megan Smith. <laughs> Brianna Tyler, escorted by brother Keyshawn Tyler, mom Angie Tyler. Cheered for senior year for basketball, will not continue the sport in college. Accomplishments, AB Honor Roll, winning first place in district's competition for cosmetology, winning second place in the fall festival competition for cosmetology. Plans for the future, plans to become a cosmetologist and eventually own my own salon. Favorite memory is marching in the Christmas parade with lights wrapped around us, Brianna Tyler. And a big hand one more time for the cheer seniors. And now for varsity basketball, up first, Shania Cotton, escorted by Shea Cotton and Jamal Marshall and Toya Marshall. Have managed boys basketball for three years. If the opportunity for me to continue managing for a sports team is open in college, I will consider it. Accomplishments. My accomplishment with boys basketball is learning how the sport works and how to do the scorebook. In high school, my accomplishments are getting an academic letter jacket, almost completing Germana Community College, and building bonds with my friends. Plans for the future. I plan to go to a four-year college, preferably Norfolk State, and get a master's degree in counseling. Favorite memory, my favorite memory is traveling to all the different schools and doing the scorebooks for both JV and varsity games for away games, Janaya Cotton. <laughs> Elijah Butler. Elijah has played the sport for 12 years. Will he continue the sport in college? Maybe. Accomplishments in the sport and in high school. Accomplishments are to get the best I can at the sport and help motivate other players to get better and for school to pass and graduate on time. Plans for college. Go to a trade school for electrical work or go to the union and become a welder and be successful in real estate. Favorite memory is playing with my boy Elijah Mancha and JQ and winning Elijah Butler. <laughs> Donovan Glimp. Escorted by mom, Luana Glimp, and dad, Sam Glimp. Has played the sport for 10 years. Will hopefully continue to play basketball in college. Accomplishments are principal's lift principal's list for three years, AB honor roll for one year, and maintains a 3.8 plus GPA. Plans for the future to study kinesiology and physical therapy at EMU and then go to chiropractic school. And favorite memory from the season is the locker room after wins. Donovan Glim. <laughs> Nicholas Hoffman. Escorted by Cindy Hoffman, has played the sport for 10 plus years. Will continue the sport in college. Yes, I love playing basketball, whether it is recreational or competitive. Accomplishments. Basketball has always been a big part of my life. I love the sport and the coaches in this program that allow me to succeed, not only as a player, but as a person as well. I am very thankful to be a part of this program and to be able to play the sport I love. Plans for the future are going to a four-year university where I will pursue a degree in engineering. Favorite memory is being able to see my teammates and myself being able to dunk throughout the years. Nicholas Hoffman. <laughs> Jaden Tyler. Escorted by Anton and Tierra Tyler, mom and dad, Anaya and Tiana, little sisters has played basketball for 13 years, will not continue the sport in college. 
accomplishments are winning games with close friends and maintaining good grades every year. Plans for the future are to make a career as a residential electrician. And favorite memories are the funny moments with teammates and coaches and getting wins, Jaden Tyler. Thomas Zoller, and escorted by mom, Kim Maybe. Played the sport since he was little, will not continue the sport in college, he will have a job. Accomplishments, I was so happy to make the basketball team for the first time in high school. I'm taking this working program through school, and I get to work with the community. Plans for the future, I plan on not going to college and entering the workforce when I graduate. And favorite memory, my favorite memory was getting my first win and getting my first basket in basketball, Thomas Zoller. One more time, a big hand for the senior boys basketball team and for all the seniors. Congratulations on your senior night. You've earned it. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Searching for a promising career? Trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech. Located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. We are back and we are underway in the second half of tonight's game between Cortland and Culpepper. Nice block down there on the inside by Tyreek Smith as Culpepper gets the ball into the forecourt for the first time. J.Q. Williams, no. 22 to five is the score. Culpepper held Cortland to 11 points in each quarter, but Cortland held Culpepper to one field goal in each quarter, Gary Deal. Yes, Matt Amos and Jeremiah Jordan. Jalen Brooks led Cortland with five, and Joshua Hartsfield had six. <laughs> it's tough out there, Donnie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a cold night on a warm day. Hartsfield has the shot. Blocked. Jeremiah Jordan's got a lot of potential. He, he, he does. He's, uh, he's, he's lengthy. Uh, he's got a wingspan. Uh, he could be really good. And so does this kid, Hartsfield. He has a block there on J.Q. Williams. J.Q. is still playing in a little fast motion. He just needs to understand uh, the different tempos of the game and how to get open. Uh, using different uh, speeds. Amos off the mark. And Cortland has the basketball. Almost a steal there and out of bounds. Touch last by Cortland. Donald Williams had his hand on the ball last. Nice force out there by J.Q. Williams. Good defense there by J.Q. Very nice. And it comes to Smith who loses the handle. And it's got to be a walk. <laughs> he was rolling all over the floor. Looked like Proud Mary rolling on the river. <laughs> in it comes. Amos in the corner. We'll come outside with it. Mancha, Williams, cross court, off the glass, no good. Follow up is up and in by Culpepper. Jeremiah Jordan, 
Two more for Jordan. And down the lane, basket will go. D'Angelo Pretty. And a foul is called. Pretty at the line. We'll get a pair. Oh, well, he only get one. That's right, because you made the basket. And Culpepper. Cortland just gave Culpepper that rebound. Amos. J.T. Williams for three. Nope. And Cortland, double team, trying to find some help. Amos had it, lost it. Tyreek Smith puts it up and in. 24 to nine, Culpepper coming alive here. Backcourt pressure. Williams for three. Good shot by Williams there. 27 to nine. Corlin on top. And we have a foul here. Foul is going to be called on Anthony Jones. Five ten to go, third period, twenty seven to die. Culpepper has yet to break into double figures. Can't get that shot, J.Q. Williams, and J.Q. in a frustration mode, fouls D'Angelo Prudy. That's where J.Q.'s got to just catch the ball, come down with it, possess it, and then let the guy fly on by, or if he doesn't fly by, you know, go up strong or do a couple pump fakes until he gets a gets person off the, off the floor. And Prudy leads it right down the middle of the hard field for an easy basket. 29 to 9, 20 point lead now for Cortland. Derek Smith. Amos in the corner. Jordan, way short. A little out of his range there. And in it goes to Hartsfield, and he is fouled. It's good defense by Jordan. Nothing easy for him, for Hartsfield. Make it work for it. Yes. Hartsfield at the line. Going to get a pair. Got the first one. 30 to nine. Checking in for the Blue Devils, number two, Elijah Butler. All right, Gary, when we get a second here, uh, you think about this now, how about there's two football games on Sunday? What? Butler. What I'm thinking about, Donnie, is just knowing that the Dallas Cowboys are not playing on Sunday. Well, I mean, that that is wonderful. <laughs> and there goes Butler, can't get it to go. Smith can't get it to go. And Butler finally, or rather, Derek Smith finally puts it in. 30 to 11. I just... I'd almost, you know, scalp a ticket to go to Baltimore just to see uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath, Smith is fouled. Fouls be called on Deontay Eckers. Portland has played everybody in this ball game. I don't know whether they just want to give everybody a chance to play or try to find somebody who can put the ball in the basket. <laughs> well, I don't know how you can go against Mahomes, although uh, Lamar is 
is so good and playing so good this year, and they should win. But Mahomes just seems like he has a way of coming through, especially in tight games. Some quarterbacks are just, you know, they. Baltimore's got a. I mean, they have a great defense. Yes. But can you know? Can they stop Mahomes? I mean, they. Mahomes, good ball player, and uh, well, of course you got Jason Kelsey. And, I like Detroit, um, although if they lose, I'll be okay, too, because I want to see them uh, hopefully get Ben Johnson, the offensive coordinator for the Commanders. Brooks, no, and knocked out of bounds by Culpepper. Well, I kind of want to see Detroit win because they, you know, I haven't won anything in so long. Right. You know, and they give some, a little parody in there, give somebody else a chance. Cortland, long shot from the outside and in. Elisha Aiden, 33 to 12. Holland, in and out. Amos, can't get it to go. And Butler has it knocked out of bounds from behind. And they say it went off of uh, Butler's leg, so it's Cortland basketball. Brooks. 2.41 to go, third period. Hartsfield outside there. They pull him outside, top of the key. Two shots, three shots. Four shots, and finally one goes in as Hartsfield. Carl Pepper just doesn't have the height to deal with these guys. Long shot from outside, no good. Rebound, Cortland, and foul is going to be called on Tyreek Smith. In Tyreek's defense, he had nowhere to go, and he just kind of fell into him, but it was a foul. Culpepper's, I, I kind of disagree with you, Donnie. I know they don't have as much bulk height uh, as Cortland, but they have the height. It's just a skill level. I mean, that's that's the difference. I mean, the, the Cortland guys know how to play the game, and a couple of the Culpepper guys are just learning and trying to develop. Almost a whole new set in there for Cortland right now. And Butler got a beat up on there by D'Angelo Prodi. JV's, Cortland JV's won the earlier contest tonight pretty big. Final score was 51-31, 20 point lead for Cortland, a 20 point win for Cortland. 135 to go, third period. Butler, three-point range, no. Smith comes down with the ball, outside Butler again. And he traveled as he took the first step to try to get going. Yeah, just that, that pace again, that fast motion instead of playing in control. It's so hard to learn that. And some people have a, some players have a harder time of learning that. Aiden on the far side, stops, dumps it off, and he traveled before he did. So the ball turns back over to Culpepper. 35 to 12 is their score. Jokic and uh, Doncic is a good example. I mean, they move in slow motion, but they get where they want to on the court. Nice three-point shot there. Jaden Tyler, 35 to 15, back to a 20-point lead. And, and so does Embiid. Brody, up, no. Rebound, saved in to Cortland. Three-pointer from outside, nope. 
Culpepper with the basketball, and Butler in high gear is fouled. See, Butler is such a good athlete. I mean, he's up at that court in no time. He just does not know yet of how to control that athletic ability and commingle the basketball skills in with it. And same way with uh, JQ. Both of them, if they ever learn how to combine the two, they would be unstoppable. Kicked out of bounds by Cortland. Culpepper with the inbounds play. They get it into Butler. 35 seconds to go, third period. 35 to 15. Cortland leading. Butler. Jordan short. Jordan gets the rebound. Great follow by Jordan yep. there. Good he followed his shot. You don't see that very often. And Butler's shot will not go from outside. <laughs> Ten seconds. Three-point range shot. No good. Jones. And Butler takes a three-pointer. And nowhere close as the third quarter comes to an end with the score. Cortland 35 and Culpepper 15. You're watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. LocalSportsHistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit LocalSportsHistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive, searching for a promising career, trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. Final eight minutes of this basketball game coming up. Uh, Culpepper trailing 35 to 15, and the Blue Devils will have the basketball as we begin play in the fourth quarter. And it comes to Butler. Elijah Butler, down low, tried to get it to Jordan, but he couldn't get it there and off the leg of a Cortland player. Don't forget, next Thursday night, we will be over at, Court, over at uh, Eastern View. When Culpepper and Eastern View uh, will play a doubleheader, boys and girls. We hope you will be there. If you can't, then watch us right here on the Culpepper Media Network. I thought it would be a good rematch between those girls, Gary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be. <clears throat> Butler, or rather Brooks. Cortland's got some good ball players. If, if, if 12 doesn't play football, I want to know why. And the basket is good by Hartsfield. Savan Diaz. He is built like a linebacker. Number 12. Hartsfield off the front of the rim and Charlie Holland comes down with the loose ball. Smith, double team. Elijah Butler, Tyler makes a move, goes all the way off the glass too hard, but he is foul. Foul going to be called on Donald Williams of Cortland. We'll send to the line Jaden Tyler, and he's going to shoot a pair. And hits the first. The left-hander. Yeah. 
Did you get out to play golf today? 75 degrees, Gary? Uh, didn't get to play today, but uh, it was beautiful outside, that's for sure. You said I, you played some, right? I played 18 over South Wales today. It was a little sloppy, but, you know, it just felt so good to get out and hit the ball. Tyler makes both his shots down. Portland just moving the ball around. And shot up no good. Comes down to Culpepper. Cross court. Three-pointed by Glimp. No good. Brooks. Into the middle, turn around Hartsfield, no. Follow up, no good. And a foul is called on Butler. I like the way Jeremiah Jordan's playing in there though. He's he's uh, pretty smart. He's uh, he maybe have eight rebounds tonight. Yep. Uh, he's, he's done real well on the boards and uh, been, been uh, someone that has some potential, I think, going forward for Culpepper. Savion Darius makes the first as Glimp goes out and Matt Amos comes back in. Darius, second shot. He got them both. 39 to 17, 22 point lead, Cortland. Doubles work the ball around. Butler off the glass, no good. Butler gets his own rebound. Tyler can't get it to go. Follow up is in by Jeremiah Jordan. He's my new guy, Donnie. He's my new guy. He has played well tonight. And there's Jordan right there to change that shot. And a foul is called in there on somebody. Jordan gets a little bit stronger and uh, where he can finish under the basket a little bit more and learns how to box out. Uh, I would hope Mike Dayton and BJ would work with him to teach him how to box out over there uh, and be a little more physical. I mean, he's he's got a lot of potential, I think. Let's get physical, physical. <laughs> Who sang that? Oh, nice pass there. Nice shot, but it wouldn't go. Olivia Newton, John. Thank you, John. Ooh, Avis finally got it to go down the hole. 39-22. He's only shot the ball about four times tonight. He has. I mean, that's 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 the difference. You gotta you gotta get him involved in the game. Hartsfield can't get it to go, and Amos comes down with the ball. Amos drives, and an offensive foul is called. His Diaz held his ground, and Amos ran right into him. 4.33 left in this ball game, 39-22. Again, we remind you next uh, Thursday night, February 1st, I think that is. Can you believe that January is almost over? Culpepper and Eastern View over at Eastern View. Boy-girl doubleheader. Three-point shot from outside, no good. Mancha clears. Leads it ahead, Amos wide open for two. And foul is called, I didn't think anybody was even close there. Must have got him flying by. But Amos will go to the line to try to complete a conventional three point play.
Eight points for Amos tonight, can't get that one. And foul underneath. Another good play by Jordan. Yep. Foul's gonna be called on Donald Williams of Cortland. And the timeout is being called on the floor. Timeout on the floor. 39-24, Cortland will pause for 30 seconds. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. Go Pepper with the basketball. And the inbounds play is stolen. Brody got the ball for Cortland. Jaden Brooks outside. Scramble. Saved in. Culpepper. Nice play there by J.Q. Williams. Amos. Nope. From the corner, Jalen Brooks for three. 42-24. 18 point lead for the Cortland Cougars. Amos, or rather Boncha, can't get the three to go. Loose ball, out of bounds, knocked out by, let's see. It's gonna belong to Cortland. Cougars will have the basketball. Pretty good crowd here tonight, Gary. A lot of fans on both sides. A lot of old timers here too tonight. It's been coming for Culpepper basketball for a long time. Yeah, I saw Tommy Barron here. I hadn't seen him here for, but uh, I don't think it's the first time I've seen him here this year. Well, Donald Williams had the shot, but he couldn't finish. Tyreek Smith. Over there, Jaden Tyler. Foul is on Jones for Cortland. We'll send nobody to the line. Not enough fouls yet. Williams. And he got it in to the other team. And Brooks, cross-court pass. Jones, Hartsfield for two. He just goes up and over. This guy, I like the way this guy plays. Yep. Jordan, out of his range a little bit. Brooks, Hartsfield was not ready for that pass, and he never really got control of it. Another block by Jordan. Jordan has played a good ball game tonight. He gets the game ball in my in my book. Yep. Well, that was kind of a weird series of events. Prody for two more. And with 140 left, we got a timeout on the floor. And with timeout, we will pause for 30 seconds on the Culpeper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. One forty to go in the ball game, 46-24. Cortland leading Culpepper. Blue Devils with the basketball. Mancha down the lane, up, no good, but Mancha will go to the line. Oh, 
Also number 10, Anthony Jones. To the line, number four, Jerry Macho. Macho will get a pair. And the first one is up and off the front iron. It's been Cortland all the way, 46-24. The Cougars have led from the outset. Culpepper had only one uh, two-point field goal in the entire first quarter and two field goals in the first half. A lot of defense by Cortland. And Cortland is about eight or nine deep. I mean, they, when he brings in subs, you don't lose anything out there. And foul is going to be called on Butler. Yeah, they, they have a lot of height and girth, too. So uh, They do. They're well-coached ball club, and they have some good athletes. Cortland uh, conceding the rebound here. 109 to go and a 21 point lead. Actually, a 19 point lead. Not 21 points. Been a long time since algebra. <laughs> but I, rem I bet you remember the Pythagorean theorem. Can't say I do, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> algebra was not a good subject of mine. Well, I was, I was average. Pythagorean <laughs> theorem, I think, was in geometry. I was not good in algebra. I, I really wasn't. I didn't care what, when the train left Orange at 40 miles an hour where it was going to crash with the one from Culpepper. <laughs> Easy bucket there by Anthony Jones. Macho can't get it to go. Gopper is, I think they've had, what, two threes tonight? And Amos has got both of them. Yes. Uh, they're not, not blessed with good shooters. They're uh, not. There's Butler. Nice defensive play, but he can't make it go. But there's Amos to follow. 49-27. Cougars with the ball. Anthony Jones, 15 seconds. They'll just pass it around. Not trying to embarrass their hosts. Steele, Butler with seven seconds all the way. He got it with the left hand. And that is it. 49-29. Cortland defeats Culpepper, and we'll be back with a final recap in a moment. Once again, the final score, Cortland Cougars 49, Culpepper Blue Devils 29. You're watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpepper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Searching for a promising career? Trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. Well, Gary Deal, it is a double victory for Cordell tonight. The JVs win by 20, and the varsity wins by 20. Bad night for Culpepper. Yeah, it was a bad night, Donnie. And uh, uh, Corwin just had, too, like we were talking about earlier, too much girth and too much height and too many, several skilled players in the low post. I think that was the difference uh, where they kind of had their way. Although uh, both of us, you and me both, like Jeremiah jo uh, Jordan, 
We thought he played one heck of a game. He's got a lot of potential, and uh, once he gets a little more physical and uh, learns how to box out, et cetera, he's going to be a good player, I believe. Well, let's just be honest. Co uh, Cortland's a better ball club. Yeah. I mean, they, they just have some better athletes, and, uh, you know, Culpepper did what they could, but uh, Cortland played really good defense, and they, they held Amos in check in the first half. I mean, when you give the other team one basket in the first quarter and one basket in the second quarter, the other team is either really bad or you're playing really good defense, and they played some really good defense. Yeah, I agree. They they play good defense. They rebound the ball well. Um, Especially the not, offensive boards. Yeah, yeah. And that's the first half, you know, I think Cortland probably had eight or ten offensive rebounds, and uh, that showed on the scoreboard. And, uh, you know, it's not the difference in the athletic ability. It's the difference in the skill of the players, especially in the low post that Cortland has, uh, and Culpepper really doesn't. All right, let's go over the stats here tonight. That's uh, not a lot of scoring here in this ball game. Uh, for Culpepper, Matt Amos uh, led the way with 10, and uh, Jeremiah Jordan had uh, six. He probably had about eight rebounds and two or three blocks. He had a really good game, I thought. For uh, Cortland, um, uh, Joshua Hartsfield led the way with 13, and Jalen Brooks and uh, D'Angelo Prouty had eight. All right, that about does it. Cortland uh, wins both games, the JV and the varsity, each one of them by 20 points. Next Thursday, February 1st, we will be over at uh, Eastern View High School when Eastern View will take on the Culpeper Blue Devils, and uh, we'll do the girls' game and the boys' game, and we hope you'll be there for that. If not, we'll be on hand to bring it to you. Till then... Donnie Johnston along with Gary Deal bidding you a very pleasant good evening and reminding you once again, final score of tonight's ball game, Cortland 49 and Culpepper 29. You've been watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network.